Hi baby. Hi bebe. Hi baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Watu wanakuambia, "Wow, kitakuramba, utawachwa na mtoto wako high and dry." Did the comments get to you at some point? <laughs> yeah, then I'm like, "What if ni reality?" When Kenya tell you that your relationship won't last, maybe it's worth listening because it just might be true. That's exactly what happened to these two, Warren and Whitney. From the outside, they looked like the perfect celebrity couple young, talented, and we can say successful as they ended up buying a house. But beneath the surface, there were so many red flags. Who's a celebrity crush? Kenya, ma. Kenya, Kenya. Klaus. Who's a celebrity crush in Kenya? Nice. Yeah? So I'm scared. Nice. Okay, smash or pass Klaus. Smash. You're probably wondering why people were against this relationship and what the red flags were. Well, at just 19 years old, Whitney, a first year student, revealed that she and her boyfriend Warren, who was in his fourth year, were expecting a child. I know, <laughs> people are quick to condemn them. Some said they weren't ready for such a huge responsibility. Others claimed Whitney was risking her future, and many labeled Warren a red flag for letting it happen. And that was just the beginning of the controversy. So, let's break down how the red flags might have led to the eventual breakup. Remember to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Kenyans first got introduced to Whitney Muniko and Warren Oyondi in March of this year. They were young, in love, and unashamed of their affection for each other. The love story started at Kenyatta University. This is where we met on... The Kikula is hope, year 15. Well, I'm not sure what you're planning. I'm not sure what you're doing on my iPhone. I'm not sure what you're doing on my iPhone. Whitney was still studying as a certified nursing assistant at Macmillan College, while Warren had finished his studies in theater arts and film technology and was doing his attachment at Kenyatta University Television or KUTV. After having several meetups and talking, they ended up falling in love and became a couple. It wasn't long before they decided to share their relationship with the world through social media, which is how Kenyans got to know about their love story. At first, they weren't living together, but after Whitney got pregnant is when they decided to live together. And that pregnancy sparked a whole lot of drama online. People wondering why a first year would get pregnant. We'll talk about this later in the video. Now, on the internet, Whitney and her lover Warren suddenly became popular online, especially on TikTok, and many saw them as couple goals. And you can tell from these videos that it was a match made in heaven. Their TikTok videos, especially their morning goodbyes, where Warren would kiss Whitney goodbye before she left the house, went viral. Bye bye, baby. Bye bye. I'll miss you. Mm -hmm. I'll miss you too, baby. Take care. You too. And stay safe. According to Warren, they were first posting these videos on WhatsApp before deciding to post the videos on TikTok and they began getting traction. Most of these early videos were from the beginning of their relationship when everything feels exciting and intense. That's probably why they were so into the public displays of affection. You'd think people would be happy for this young couple, but instead they were met with harsh comments. It will end in tears. Internet never forget. Ni mwapia one year. Tutajua mtaachana tu in future. But they replied saying, never. Despite the criticism, there were many supporters who wished them well. And they seemed unbothered by the negativity and were confident that their love would last. After all, they had been dating for a long time before TikTok fame. So why would they let the internet tear them apart? By March 2024, they had only been together for seven months, but it seemed like a lifetime. Their fame on TikTok grew, landing them interviews with popular platforms. 
The increased visibility obviously helped them grow their audience leading to more followers and potential brand partnerships. They even started a YouTube channel to share the love story inspiring young couples across Kenya and were constantly updating their fans on their beautiful love story. However, problems began when Whitney revealed that she and Warren were expecting a child. At just 19 years and still in her first year of university, this announcement sparked controversy. Many Kenyans, especially women, expressed concern over her decision, accusing her of being naive and irresponsible. They questioned why she was ruining her future by becoming a mother at 19. People think that you 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 are you like you're actually making a mistake because you're not that old. Yeah, so tell me, you you mulipataji your news kwanza. Okay, at first kuna kuna some few nights nemelialia. Others condemned Warren for allowing the pregnancy to happen, saying that she was putting the future of Whitney at risk and she would not become a mother, yet she was young. But their fans were supportive, saying those against them were just jealous and expressing hope that the two would stay together for a long time, despite the challenges. At first, Whitney was afraid would Warren stand by her and the baby, and she had no intention of getting an abortion. But she was anxious about how her family, especially her mother, would react, especially since she was raised by a single parent. The only child that you just feel too very angry react. As per this interview, it seems that the pregnancy was unexpected, but the good part is that they already talked about it. And Warren told Whitney that in case she gets pregnant, he'd take care of everything. But one thing since we started dating, I didn't by any chance. Utapata bol is an Utashka bol to go on away. I'll never advise you to it. Whatever comes to Taylia. Whitney also decided to respond to everyone mocking her and claiming that she made a bad choice. And it was not a pleasant response. There was no sugar coating, and it was clear she meant business. I'm yeah. trending. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm trending. I'm yeah. famous. Ah! <laughs> makes me feel proud. Yeah. One thing, <laughs> one thing, Nico 1.1, 1. 1, and I'm not serious. Now, look at me, I'm not serious in my life. Because I can walk with a fool. And I'm not the first one because I'm one. And I know most of you, you girls, you girls, when you're not going to be happy, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. You'll still be here to watch me grow. Yeah. I'll grow. I'm trading Sahi, but I'll grow. Mutaliona who called top. Of course, the internet responded, and Kenyans can be brutal. Very brutal. Mungu Saidia, who you are a good example to prove us wrong. Sisi Kamati ya Wataachana too. Ile character development in Angoja who you. Mine is a man, na mikupia mimba at 19 ukiwa first semester, straight out of high school. Whom are we to judge though? Amesema ukweli though atuta msaidia kulea. Kila mtu abebe msalaba wake. I fear Kenyans ju wakisha sema mutaachana. It happens. Ni kama aliruka ile lecture ya fear men. And you'd wonder, why were people so bitter? This was a personal decision made by two adults. So why was the internet going crazy? You can say maybe these people have seen or experienced it before. But once you put your business online, you can't control people's opinions. The moment you open that door, you're inviting everyone and like it or not, you've got to deal with whatever comes next. But not everyone mocked Whitney. Some praised her for embracing motherhood despite her young age. Warren and Whitney even talked about it, saying Kenyans have no right to question her on being 19 and pregnant. Do you feel, first and foremost, Kenyans have a right to question you on being 19 and pregnant? Okay, uh, no. They should not be questioning me now because it's a decision. Public figures also joined the conversation, one of them being Pretty Vichy, who made fun of Whitney's decision on Instagram asking, 
How can you judge people for abortions when you're out here sleeping around? She continued by claiming that Whitney was unprepared for the harsh realities of motherhood. And uh, Warren and Whitney responded and said this about Pretty Vichy. Pretty Vichy, mimi nimemwachia tu Mungu. Oh, ama ni kukula sana. Now there are some group of people, especially the women again, that were unhappy with how Whitney was being treated and accused the critics of being toxic. They said what Whitney was going through showed society's failure to support women in difficult situations. Others commented that the same people throwing stones probably don't have their own lives together. This led to another debate, shifting the focus from Whitney's decision to the bigger issue of how society treats young women, especially young mothers. Now, despite all the noise, Warren and Whitney kept living their lives and posting videos on social media. Unfortunately, people didn't stop criticizing their relationship. They kept highlighting the red flags, more especially when they appeared on interviews. On March 30th, 2024, they appeared in this interview and talked about their relationship and other things like this. <laughs> Help. Ayote, ayote. Kwani ulikuwa ulikuwa unauza nini? Kila time ikikamu tu anamtumia ngama mara mbili, amepata kama mara mbili anamtumia mara mbili yote wala. Now in another interview with Lynn Gugi, Warren talked about giving Whitney fatherly love. I know it sounds very weird. And this comment sparked a lot of controversy. So the minute he told me that I'll show you the, the fatherly love that you have lacked in your whole life. I'll be here to show that to show take you that, you. yeah, mm. take good care of you, show that fatherly love that you have lacked. And I was like, okay, no one has ever told me that. Many people, including Lynn Googie, questioned why a boyfriend would give fatherly love to the girlfriend. You said you want to give her mm. that fatherly love, mm. right? Yeah. That's something you can never give someone to. Yeah. You get it? Eh? Yeah. That's something yeah. you can never give her. Yeah. Considering a breakup, Whitney never saw it coming. And this is what she said about Warren a few months ago. The few months, Nimejua Warren is the most nicest person I've met. Yeah, I'll just I would say that. So it's the nicest person I've met. Now he has a clean heart. Yeah. So I would see that name is on Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's Whitney eventually gave birth and as a surprise, Warren gifted her a house as a push gift. On the surface you can say their relationship seemed perfect, but in real life, perfect relationships don't exist without some drama. Things took a turn for the worse when naked videos of Warren started to circulate online. Many of you have seen these videos but wouldn't admit it. <laughs> now, later, Warden shared voice notes of Whitney talking negatively about him. In the voice notes, Whitney said that Warren had embarrassed her and their child and that she was worried about how the nude videos might affect their kid in the future. Warren didn't know about the voice notes which made him angry and after discovering them, he decided to post them online on Instagram. And it didn't stop there. On October 14th, Warren went live on YouTube to address the issues in their relationship. Whitney was not in the video, which was a clear sign that things were not okay. Whitney ako? Eh, Yupo? Uku kwa nyumba? Ako hapa kwa nyumba tu? Nobody's talking to anybody. In this 48-minute video, Warren talked about a lot of things that probably led them to consider a breakup, including that he wasn't getting the respect he deserved in the relationship. The respect is not there again anymore since uh, the day maybe I started dragging her into my issues. There's a day she clicked at me. But I mean, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going in the live video, a fan even called him a weak man and he didn't argue. He simply agreed that he was a weak man. You ain't man enough. Yeah, it's alright. I'm a weak man, man. 
but now I started to lie about and suffer from depression bwana Warren said that he would move to a better and more peaceful place but he would leave the house for Whitney since she is the mother of their child he also mentioned that he would take care of their kid even if Whitney doesn't want him there kama mamake anitaki basi na mimi simtaki cha regarding getting back together this is what Warren said I pray for pray for everyone and pray for us you know <laughs> and from the body language alone and that statement we know there is no hope in the end it's easy to judge them but you have to remember they are young and still learning like everyone else and mistakes are part of life as they say relationships are hard especially when the whole world is watching instead of judging we can understand they were just trying to make it work People break up all the time and that's okay. No one's perfect and sometimes love just doesn't last even when you want it to last. Let me know what you think about this too in the comments below. Remember to like this video and uh, subscribe. Let's meet in the next video.